Have you been surprised by the high gas prices recently skyrocketing due to world events? Well, I'm going to give you some tips on how to manage this risk and others so that you can continue to make money doing the various gig economy apps. So stick around and I'll be right back to give you those tips. But first, check this out. Do you see that? 579. Isn't that amazing? And that's just here in Southern California, outside of LA. Welcome back everybody. I hope things are going well for you and you're able to manage your stress as you obviously can tell that gas prices are rising and may continue to rise. So on my channel, I give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for the various food delivery companies. And today, let's look at what we're doing as a business because really we are in business for ourselves. So gas is just one of those expenses that we do have to manage. So as a business owner, what can you do to lower your risk and be able to still make money out there in the gig economy? So something simple that you can do if you don't wanna go watch those previous two videos that I made, just slow down. It'll give you more time and actually, if you get a ticket, that's gonna ruin your earnings for the day and impact your driving record. So slow down. The slower you go, the better mileage you're going to get. That's something easy and manageable. Also, when's the last time you've checked the air pressure in your tires? Those can make a big difference too. And it's a safety issue. Find good places where you get good deals on gas because we do use our vehicles to, to deliver the food, give ride share, and do shopping. Another simple thing you can do is not carry a ton of stuff in your car. If you're a food delivery driver, yeah, you have room for some bags, emergency items, and I still always recommend carrying the wagon, that folding wagon, it's awesome. If you're a rideshare driver, your car's pretty much gonna be empty except for some cleaning supplies, and that way you can fill it up with luggage and people for those great airport runs. And unless you live in a hot or cold environment, just try not to leave your car running, waiting for an order. If you can, just turn it off and save gas that way. Another tip when it comes to food delivery and rideshare, don't take orders that aren't tipping you. And that seems to be a no-brainer, but many people are out there taking the two and three dollar orders. Even without the high gas prices, I'm imagining they're losing money. I personally can't afford to do that. So be very selective on your orders. Try to always take ones that pay you more per mile, um, you know, ideally at least two dollars per mile. But I do admit when it's slow, I'm gonna take whatever orders out there and try to keep it right around a dollar per mile, but that's not common. Four dollars, 1.2 miles, fine. Normally I wouldn't take that, but it is slow and I would like to earn some money. And I'm just sitting here, Starbucks is right here anyway because I just got a coffee for myself. So I'll go in there and get that order and deliver it and be right back. But before I go, I have almost used a quarter tank of gas. I've d driven almost 50 miles. So I think the true test is gonna come up when I have to fill up today after delivering. And then I'm gonna really notice that pain of that almost extra dollar per gallon. Today's been a great example to share with you of what maybe you shouldn't do. It was slow. And right now I've earned about $112. I've driven 125 miles. And I probably, I'm guessing, would get $10 in tips from the Amazon. So that's basically a dollar per mile. And I did far more long distance driving today than I had planned. And then I still have to go fill up with gas, which I'll say is five to six gallons at five and a half dollars. That's quite a bit of money. Ah. Oh. Hey, nice, we got a Grubhub order. Let's check it out. We'll add to the total. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take this. Long distance again, it's an Indian restaurant, 12.7 miles, but $16, but I'm gonna do it. All right, this should be interesting. You can see it's almost a half tank and I drove 144 miles.
to what's next. What an exciting day. Can you believe that? I sure can't. $42. That used to be the amount I would fill up when I was doing rideshare. And this was basically half a tank. Um, if I'm estimating the total earnings, I earned $130 today and I drove 145 miles, as you saw. I would estimate, you know, the other three orders, two Amazon Flex and one corner shop, if they tip a total of $10, that puts me right at a dollar per mile. It was slow today, so I don't regret taking those orders, but that really hurts to have basically a third of my money gone to gas, um, especially in light of last year, it was 16% of my total earnings. So this hike in gas prices is definitely painful and real. I know there's not much we can do about it, but again, just drive slower, maintain your vehicle, and be very selective on the orders that you take. That's my best advice for you. And you know, when you get a chance, go check out those videos I made. I mentioned the fifth one and the 20th one, and that'll cover topics for driving smoother, as well as easy maintenance for your car to keep it operating uh, efficiently. So what a day, what a day. You know, I did take that risk of accepting basically every order that was decent. Um, it would have been nice to have a lot more shopping orders because that's less miles, but they weren't there. So how are you dealing with and affected by this increase in gas prices? As time goes on, I hope it does get better. But in reality, with all the world events going on, I don't think it will. So plan on this being this way for who knows how long, at least a year. Well, I wish you the best out there. Get out there and earn that money as most efficiently as you can. Hopefully over time, the customers will tip more. I wouldn't count on the, the app companies to pay more. Although I did see Grubhub say that they're gonna increase our mileage a little bit because of the gas prices. But you can't rely on other people. You can only rely on yourself. So do what you can to cut your expenses and run your business efficiently. All right, take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.